This evening, I could spend my five minutes telling you my story of experiencing a mass shooting this summer, of what it's like to be on the street with your three adult kids and your grandchildren and your husband, when just a little over a block away, a man opened fire with over 80 rounds from a rooftop. He mowed down people who sat and stood along the 4th of July parade I was in. I will tell you, though, that devastation did not end with that with the lives taken or with the wounded bodies and souls of the survivors. This mass shooting has shaken Highland Park and my whole district. The fabric of my community was unraveled that day and is slowly being rewoven. You don't just recover from this in a day or in a week or in any specified time frame. I could tell you all this, but I don't have to because I know so many of you here in this room know that it's true. If I ask you to raise your hand, if you personally know someone who has been affected by gun violence, I think a lot of you would raise your hand. More hands would go up than down. I won't call you out by name, but some of you have personally had more recent experience with gun violence right here in Springfield and in Chicago. I will admit that I didn't get it right away. I didn't have a full understanding of what gun violence looked like or felt like or what it does to a community until it happened to me. But I haven't been sitting on the sidelines with thoughts and prayers to members of communities were torn apart. I've been working on this. In 2017, I introduced an assault weapon ban and I kept introducing the assault weapons ban over the course of several, several general assemblies this is the first time we've gotten to a floor vote, and it's about time. And in 2018, I passed the red flag law, and one component of that we are amending today. I continued to introduce gun control measures. Some passed, and some did not. But today, with a keen awareness of the massacres occurring regularly, we as a chamber have an opportunity to stick, take a step in the right direction with an I vote for House Bill 5471 to end the sale of these weapons of war and massacre. Gun violence has been normalized and we have the power and I would say the responsibility to put our constituents ahead of the gun lobby, politics and profit. The callous murder of our children and our teachers in schools our neighbors at a grocery store, or friends and family celebrating our nation's birthday at a parade must end. I ask each of you to picture your child, your partner, your parents, and then vote like their lives depend on it. They do. I urge you to vote yes. Thank you, Madam President.